How to install the speed clip. This procedure applies to all functional and performance trainer models, including the pulley assist station on pneumatic racks. Tools and materials required are shown on screen and listed in the video description. For setup, we recommend a flat, comfortable workspace. Parts and screws on the speed clip are small. Be sure to set them in a secure space during assembly. Before servicing the machine, disconnect the air supply. Remove all air pressure from the machine until there is no resistance on the rope. Extend the rope while pressing the negative thumb button to release any residual air pressure. Now, extend enough rope for service and tie a knot at the pulley to secure in place. Removal. With the cable accessory disconnected, twist off the bumper from the clevis. Untie the knot. Use a bent or angled needle nose pliers to carefully loosen the knot. Once the knot is removed, release the clevis and bumper from the rope. Installation. Check the end of the rope for fraying. Make sure the rope is sealed before you continue with the installation. To open the speed clip, twist off the bumper from the assembly. Remove the three screws using a 332nd inch hex key. The screws are small. Handle them with care. Slowly open the assembly. Gather all the assembly parts and screws and set them in a secure place. Now to attach the speed clip to the rope, start with the bumper. Thread the running end of the rope through the smaller opening of the bumper. Tie a double overhand knot as shown. Make a loop in the rope and pass the end through it. Then pass it again through the loop and tie the knot. Adjust the placement of the knot so that there's about a half inch tail. Test the knot against the bumper by tugging the standing end of the rope. Reset the knot if necessary to ensure the half inch tail is intact. Prepare the speed clip, starting with the half that has the hole feature. Insert the spring into the latch, then set the latch with spring into position at the pivot point. Ensure the latch sits on the hook and the spring sits within the channel. Position the knot into the cavity with the tail set in the hole to help steady the rope during assembly. Close the speed clip. Set the other half of the speed clip into position at the latch pivot point. As you close the two halves, push in the latch to close the assembly. While holding the assembly together, check the latch for proper spring action. If the latch does not spring shut, check and make sure the spring and latch are properly positioned when closing the assembly. Tip. Use tape or a rubber band to temporarily close the assembly for easy installation. Secure the speed clip with the three screws removed earlier. Add Loctite 242 to the threads. Start the screws using a 332nd inch hex key. Once all the screws are in place, go back and tighten the three screws evenly. Torque 11 inch pounds plus or minus 1 inch pound. At this time, remove the rubber band. Install the bumper. 
Wipe clean the assembly. Tuck in the tail of the rope back into the clip cavity using the hex key. Now, twist the bumper onto the speed clip until fully seated. For functional trainers, repeat the entire procedure on the opposite side. For this performance trainer, installation is complete. Before use, untie the knot at the pulley and connect the machine to the air supply. While holding the speed clip, slowly add air pressure to the machine to add resistance. The new speed clip is ready for use. We hope you found this walkthrough helpful. If you have any questions or to order replacement parts, visit kaiser.com forward slash support. And thanks for watching.